What's up guys, Steven Ducks here. Today we're gonna talk about uh, most common questions that people are asking me. Ducks, why won't you trade options? Why won't you trade futures? Why won't you trade the blue chip stocks? Let me give you a very specific reason why. I trade around somewhere between uh, 10 to 200 million dollar stock. And anywhere above that, I don't really trade it. Anywhere below that, I barely trade it. The reason why is to be able to consistent profitable in one sector, it takes a lot of work. Once you become consistent profitable, and you have to really focus on uh, how to really maximize your profit, then that's a whole different tracking and uh, uh, you have to find the average percentage of pushing in the morning, average percentage of dropping in the morning. So there are a lot of details for you to really focus on when you are trading in life. Let's also talk about when you trade multiple stocks at once. So let's say I'm trading uh, somewhere between one to 200 million stocks and on the same time trading one billion dollar stock. And those two different sectors have completely different reactions when you're trading in the morning. Let's say average pushing percentage is around 15% in the morning for billion dollar stock, average pushing percentage is around 20%. There's also so much factors involved in there. It's gonna be volume, news, and different news, and Q1 or company file or 10Q. Those are so many factors are involved in those two sectors. So you can't really switch your mindset from this sector to this sector. Sometimes you get so used to it, you, you may be very good with trading stocks, and there's gotta be some of it you miss uh, when you're switching back and forth, back and forth, because you are trading live. So I find that really tiring, especially when I'm trading two different sectors at the same time. I'd rather just focus one uh, and get all the details together. I can be more focused on one and have higher success rate just by my own performance throughout the year. Now, most of the time I'm day trading. When I'm focused on options, futures, and penny stocks, I'm trading three different zones at the same time. That would be extremely difficult, at least for me. I would rather just focus on one and build more advantage into this one sector and increase my performance making less mistakes because when I'm trading more sectors, I'm making more mistakes. Now, let's also add in very specific details into the level two actions, okay? So level two are the huge difference between uh, micro flow and the bigger flow, and also the micro cap and the large cap. Those two have different level twos, and sometimes size, uh, huge size matters in lower cap, sometimes huge size doesn't matter in higher cap, different flow reacts with different size. Let's say 200,000 shares on a bid it is very small compared to, let's say, 200 million flow and $2 billion market cap or $20 billion market cap. 200,000 shares is relatively very small. And if you put 200,000 shares into a micro cap, and that's about 20% of the entire flow, if it's the flow is 1 million. So when you are looking at those level twos because they're all live. So they're bouncing back and forth, back and forth, and you're trading two tickers at the same time. Then you're looking at those level twos. When they don't react the same, your mind has to switch back and forth, back and forth. Now, sometimes you make a mistake to say, oh, 20K is a lot of uh, shares in the billion dollar market cap because you're so used to looking at the level two in the market caps. Then sometimes we'll give you a different reactions and once you click the button, you're already regretting now. So level two is very important when you're trading multiple sectors. I think that is probably number one reason why I don't trade specifically in stocks, blue chips and micro caps. Those two, I hate trading them at the same time. Now let's talk about algos. In futures, there is a bunch of algos that strategies are building the futures. And the reason why they can build algos is the tickers are the same. So you're trading the same ticker over and over and over again. In penny stocks, you have so many different tickers. The ticker change names, they do reverse splits, and flow are not the same. So it's really difficult to build an algo in the penny stock area compared to the futures market. So that will be the video for today. Hopefully you get the major point and I will see you guys next video.